Right, so, a uh, bit of a change of mood now. Uh, altogether, a slightly darker tale. Hope it doesn't upset anybody. Um, maybe if you're uh, eating, you might like to uh, empty your mouth, so otherwise, uh, this could upset you. Anyway, here we go. It's called Food for Thought. Actually, can't see very well here. I wish I'd brought my glasses anyway. <laughs> The sun came up like any other day. The man in the lorry came and rounded us up and took us all away. Had a bad feeling and I could tell that we all felt the same. Some of us panicked and some stayed calm as we wondered who was to blame. Eventually the lorry stopped and we were all herded out. I followed blindly as I couldn't see, but I heard some others shout. We were jammed into a narrow strip and could only go one way. The smell of fear was on the air, but fear of what I couldn't say. Suddenly we were inside a room full of bright light and clamor and din. I know we all were wondering what kind of place we were in. And the one in front of me was suddenly hoisted into the air. And I was next and another one after, heading who knows where. We were hanging upside down with one leg chained to a metal hook. I tried to turn my head, but the one in front squealed, no, don't look. Then a jolt of electricity paralyzed me and the world began to swim. I felt a blade run across my throat and the lights began to dim. Suddenly I rose into the air and a curious sight met my eyes. My friends and I were down below. I heard our frightened cries. Our blood was pouring onto the floor and running away down the drain. And somebody slipped me from neck to crutch as another one pulled on a chain. My innards spilled onto the floor and a man kicked them away. My twitching carcass went through a door as the hot water began to spray. My feet were hacked off and thrown on a pile. Someone put them all in a bin. And all the time I'm wondering what is this hell that we're in? I could feel my spirit rising and I lost sight of that place Of my body which I'd recently left I could feel no trace But I knew that if I closed my eyes I would be able to see And sure enough I saw me and my friends Who had all been killed like me We were in the back of another lorry, but this time it was cold. And I knew beyond a doubt that all our bodies had been sold. And in what seemed like the blink of a night, we were hanging up in butcher shops. Our bodies, once quick and alive, had now been turned into pork chops. <laughs> As the lights grew dim again, but now for the last time, I saw people cooking bits of meat with rosemary and thyme. And then they put me onto plates and a family began to eat. They didn't give it a second thought, I was just a piece of meat. 
guess I was just a piece of meat.